take our brother home today. Nick gets to go home today, sleep in his own bed with his own TV, and he's been asking for a steak dinner for a couple weeks now. And you bet we're going to get him a steak dinner tonight. Is that some here in Louisville thought they may never hear about Officer Nicholas Wilt today? A very happy day. He's finally going home after he was shot during the old National Bank shooting. And today we will have two opportunities to see him. Just about 15 minutes ago, we heard from officials as they talked about his recovery, rehab, and discharge from the Fraser Rehabilitation Institution, as well as Officer Wilt's twin brother. At any moment now, we will, he will be leaving the Fraser uh, and heading to Southeast Christian Church on Blankenbaker, where a community procession is waiting for him. Now, we have team coverage of both of those events. Our Shay McAllister is out at the Fraser right now. Alexis Jones is out at Southeast, and we will plan to begin over at the Rehabilitation Institution with Shay. Now, Shay, you just listened to that press conference and watched as Officer Wilt is getting ready to leave the hospital 109 days after that shooting. Jim, it's just remarkable, isn't it? Today was a day that certainly was never guaranteed. Many had hoped for it. Many more had prayed for it. His family tells us they were sure that this day would come, but even doctors answering some really difficult questions today say when he came into the emergency room with a bullet in his skull, they were unsure that he would ever walk away. We were able to get some clarity on his prognosis, and he is doing very, very well. Over the last several weeks, he has learned how to swallow, how to stand, how to walk. There, we're told that it is his will to survive, his will to recover that has pushed him this far. The reality is, this is just a step in the right direction. This recovery will take some time. He will continue treatment right here at Fraser, five days a week starting next week. He needs to still get a lot of leg strength back to walk. He'll be doing occupational therapy to learn how to do things like brush his teeth and use the restroom and get dressed. He'll also continue speech therapy, though we're told he is speaking today. There will be long-term deficits. There could be signs of the traumatic brain injury, though the doctor says there's no limits to the potential of what he can achieve, which is just remarkable. I asked the police chief if she's talked to Officer Wilt about a future in police work. She said no. She said that hasn't come up just yet. But yesterday he did say thank you, chief, when she was visiting him. She said that moment was huge for her. And as you can imagine, this officer is just so ready to go home. You heard his brother. He's been asking for a steak dinner. The mayor also said he loves the show Bar Rescue and he's ready just to sit on his couch and enjoy it. The progress that Nick's made, they tell us it's a long road, it's a marathon. But Nick, every single day, has been ready to go. Just a few days ago, one of the therapists told us she's been pulling teeth to get people out of bed, to get people to do what they need to do to heal. And those people have only been here for a few weeks. Nick has been here now two months. He's in his chair ready to go and out the door he goes with the therapist and it's he is and that's just the type of person and he'll probably be embarrassed that i say this but his little catchphrase when we wheel him out of out of his room he goes that's a boogie woogie like he is he's ready to go and uh, that is uh, that's just his mentality he is ready to go he wants to get back to it he was a 26 year old very active helping young man and he is going to get back to that And everyone believes that wholeheartedly here. It was also a bit of an emotional update. The CEO of Old National Bank, Jim Ryan, brought to tears. He had to pause multiple times, saying the last few months have been very, very difficult for this Louisville team. Moving to a new building, losing multiple team members. But he says today is a day of answered prayers. So what comes next? Well, any moment now, Officer Nick Wilt will be loaded into an elevator. He'll be in a wheelchair heading down here to the first floor of Fraser Rehab, where he will be wheeled out to his family's car and sent home. We've already seen a photo of him. He was smiling. We're told that the hallway will be quiet, though, because with the traumatic brain injury, a lot of stimulation still really isn't good for the officer. However, lots of silent cheers, lots of smiles expected here at Fraser Rehab, and we are certainly excited to see this major, major milestone. So for now, I'll send it back to you in the studio, Jim.